We start right now, though, with breaking news. We are getting new information just within the last 40 minutes that Governor Holcomb has now signed the permitless carry bill. At the same time, the governor is also vetoing the transgender sports bill. State House reporter Kristen Eskow joins us live in the newsroom now to break it all down for us. Kristen, what do we know? Well, Dan and Fanchon, the governor vetoed one controversial bill, the transgender athletes bill, and signed another that allows many Hoosiers to carry a handgun without a permit. Now, on the permitless carry bill, the governor said in a statement that this bill, quote, entrusts Hoosiers who can lawfully carry a handgun to responsibly do so within our state. He goes on to point out the law does not apply to those who can't get a gun right now, including convicted felons or anyone deemed mentally unfit. Now, during the session, opponents argued that the bill would make Hoosiers less safe. One of the most vocal opponents was State Police Superintendent Doug Carter. And in a new statement tonight, he said, quote, I will work with law enforcement leaders across our state to make necessary changes to firearms enforcement, as well as finding the best way to identify individuals who are not allowed to carry a firearm. Now, this law goes into effect July 1st. Also, the governor vetoing the bill that that would ban transgender girls from participating in girls' school sports. Now, in a letter to the State House, he said the bill could create confusion and students could be treated differently depending on which school they attend or compete for. Now, supporters of the bill had argued that it would have ensured fairness in girls' sports. Now, the state legislature could override his veto. It would only take a simple majority vote to do so. That could happen within the next few months, and we'll keep you posted. Again, the governor signed the permitless carry bill and vetoing the transgender athletes bill. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News.